okay I'm gonna have to speak really quickly because it's just started to rain here but this week's video I'm going to be focusing on the site of Holgate's where we've stayed for four days my parents have got a static caravan here so a little bit about the site a little bit about the walk to the beach a little bit about Arnside Tower and a fridge defrost in the middle of it so I hope you enjoy this episode if you do please remember give us the thumbs up subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit that little bell so you get the weekly notifications hope you enjoy this episode here it is slightly on my mum and dad of the van but we're a little bit early aren't we so we need to see if we can just pull up so I might just have to pull up here so while you go in So a little bit about Holgate's. It's an upmarket site with lots of privately owned static caravans and my parents have one of those, but equally uh, suitable for tourists. And as you can see, the pitches are large, they're all serviced, there's pods on the site. And the static caravans are nestled on the hillside with lots of privacy. There's a great children's play area. In fact, there are at least two this being just one of them. Good sight all round. Well, Sue and I are really experiencing palatial living at the moment because we've come to visit my mum and dad and their van life is nothing like our van life. So I'm going to show you a little bit of uh, the van, introduce you to my mum and dad and, um, and hopefully you'll enjoy it. So this is the entrance to my mum and dad's van. It's only our towels that are making it look untidy. And hi, Fudgy. Fudge is, uh, is there. And hello. Oh, there. I forgot there was a mirror there. So there's me wandering in. So coming into the van. Oh, there's my dad. He's working hard. Hello. At the age of, well, I don't know, 170. Is that right, Dad? About that, yeah. And, and still working hard. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and if I whiz round here. You see, lovely space and great view from uh, the windows at the front of the van, a little balcony. And there's the Coco and Kira on the sofa and my mum. <laughs> Hi mum. Hello. <laughs> oh, hello. You want, you want to say something as well so you can see. Look at this magnificent space. It's a real luxury for Sue and I. And there you go. A lovely kitchen, so you'd be able to manage that perfectly with a oh, well stocked little wine rack over there. I'm thinking. Come back out through the van, you see corridor leading to. I'll stop at this door first on this side. Look at that fantastic bathroom. I've had a shower in that shower this morning, and oh my goodness. It makes you realise the things that you just take for granted when you live in a house. Uh, and then just whizzing round there. There's you again. Hi! And then whizzing round. You know, it's fantastic, isn't it? What a great space. This is a this, this is a little holiday home. Uh, it's my mum and dad share it with my auntie Jennifer and Uncle Alan. So us kids all get to use it as and when, not that we ever do because we've got our Bertie but some cousins use it an awful lot and enjoy it as well, there you go, bedroom number two and rather magnificently we've got bedroom number three, how fabulous is that? So I'm going to turn the camera around Hopefully you get me again. So uh, there you go. That's van life experienced in a different way, and uh, maybe you know en enjoyed by my mum and dad. Certainly, I don't think they'd enjoy wandering around in the uh, motorhome in the way that Sue and I do. Uh, but they enjoy this kind of van life. It's a video. Oh right. Oh okay. Uh, this is po posh barbecuing under the cover in the rain but a big cover rather than just an umbrella and a very very big posh barbecue.
we are at Holgate. Dogs are taking up their usual places. But inside the van, the great thing about taking advantage of being at mum and dad's static caravan is look at that. We get a chance to defrost the fridge, but more specifically, the freezer. Look at that. Behind that is one of those, <laughs> which should look like that. But at the moment, it looks like that. So as you can see, we've got a tea towel in there. Oh, hopefully that will soak up a lot of the water and uh, we leave the fridge turned off for a couple of hours and we should be okay again. I'm sure it'll be much more efficient after that. On a little trip down to the beach, just below the site, part of Morecambe Bay. The dogs absolutely love this. You can see in here, Archie just taking in his surroundings and Fudge trotting off, no doubt trying to find something to chase. Courtesy of Ordnance Survey, a map showing walks to the beach and the circular walk up to Arnside Tower, built in the late 1400s or early 1500s, one of the Pele Towers built by the local community to help defend themselves against the marauding Scots in the Edward I reign.